in the world where there's demand for cleanliness. Nail care service is one of them. <laughs> Sorry, I don't really know where to go with this intro. Nail care service isn't just about the tools, equipment, materials, and cosmetics. This is also about safety. And with what's happening in our world today, this is important. But safety? What does safety really mean in the tools, equipment, materials, and cosmetics for nail care service? Simple. It is about maintenance. As a manicurist, you should give attention to the proper maintenance of nail care implements and equipment. They should be properly cleaned and disinfected after servicing each client. But first, let's talk about activities, yeah? Because every single lesson isn't going to start with a discussion but instead to test you. And what are the things that you think would be in this lesson? For some reason, and oh, a review for the things that you have learned in the last lesson. Again, for some reason. Anyway, here's the first activity. And before we start, you all recall this one, right? If not, might wanna revisit the previous video, link appearing in the top right, and you can find it at um 3 minutes to 8 minutes-ish. Sterilization. Sanitization. Disinfectant and antiseptic. What's the difference between the four? Oh, mate, it's simple. The letters in each word and how you pronounce them is in it. Well, aside from that, what is the difference? You know what? Let's start with the sterilization, shall we? Sterilization is the process of destroying all living micro. <sighs> Again, let's start with sterilization, shall we? It is the process of destroying all living microorganisms. While sanitization, on the other hand, is the process of destroying some but not all microorganisms. Sterilization and sanitization techniques applied in a beauty salon involves the use of physical agents like heat and radiation, and chemical agents like antiseptics and vapor fumigants. Disinfectant, however, is a substance used to control microorganisms on non-living services such as tools, equipment, and furniture or fixtures. While the antiseptic is an agent that prevents the multiplication of microorganisms. Since it is milder than a disinfectant, it can be used directly on the skin. Now all things considered, there are processes and categories to maintain the cleanliness of your tools, equipment, and cosmetics. But let's go further and shorten it. If we say sterilization, it means destroying all living microorganisms. But if we say sanitization, it means destroying some microorganisms. And if we say disinfectant, it is used in non-living surfaces. But if we say antiseptic, it can be used on the skin. But you may ask, why go on with just destroying some microorganisms when you can destroy them all to prevent the spread? Simple time and power. When you use sterilization, it takes time to destroy microorganisms, and the chemicals used in it can sometimes take time to disperse. Because most of the disinfectants used in sterilization, it is powerful enough to hold on to the items that you use it on. Wonder why if you use bleach on your bathroom or your laundry, it takes time for the smell to disperse? It's because it is a powerful disinfectant. Now, in those situations, especially if you got multiple customers at once, it is better to use sanitization instead. Compared to sterilization, the chemicals used or the treatment that is used for sanitization isn't as harsh as the ones used in sterilization. And also, you have to consider the type of materials that you are going to clean. If it is metal, it is safe for sterilization. But if it is plastic or other type of material such as wood, it can get destroyed by the process or the chemicals used in sterilization. These are just additional information anyway, but that's just to give insights on why sanitization exists when you can just use the sterilization process. Now that's clear, let's move on with how are we going to clean stuff. Let's start with sanitization. 
First off, you need to read the directions on the disinfectant. Next, measure and mix the disinfectant as directed. Saturate a cleaning cloth with disinfectant solution and wipe entire surface area of equipment. Wipe the surface dry with paper towel to dry it. And last, dispose of sanitizing solution and use towels. These are steps in sanitization, but what about sterilization? In sterilization, you have to soak the implements in hot soapy water solution to remove any debris and oil residue. Rinse them thoroughly. Now, place the implements in a 70% to 90% alcohol solution for 20 minutes. Remove the implements from solution, wipe them dry, and place them in a dry sterilizer. And that's it! These are the steps in sterilization. But do you all remember the sanitizing jar in the first lesson? Oh, you don't? Oh, maybe. Just maybe, and hear me out. Maybe it's because it is called disinfecting container in the first lesson. Yeah, what else will this dig on you, isn't it? But anyway, here's how to use the sanitizing jar slash disinfecting container. First off, you need to cleanse the sanitizing jar with disinfectants and wipe it dry. Next, place thin layer of sterile cotton at the bottom of jar. Remove implements from wet or dry sanitizer and place them into the jar. Handle soap except for metal nail files. Fill the jar again with 70% to 90% alcohol solution to cover cutting edges and tips of orange wood sticks. And that's it! That's how you maintain your stuff in nail care service. All of this stuff. They don't even matter, isn't it? I mean, you don't even have the complete tools for this, let alone purchase the equipment needed that can cost up to thousands. Well, unless you're your family business and you already have it, you know? But give it a thought. How about you go on a professional nail care service as your career? Or another thought, and talking realistically, for some people out there who goes to the nail salon, what are the things that you have to notice to say that your nail salon follows the right steps in taking care of their customers? Functional tools and equipment are stored safely in accordance with salon requirements and local health regulations. Non-functional or faulty tools and equipment are segregated and labeled properly either for repair or for discarding. After every working session, the following should be done. Tools which are made of plastic should be kept clean and sanitized properly in preparation for the next patron. Empty bottles and containers are discarded in a covered trash bin. Used treatment products and other chemicals are stored, arranged, and properly labeled in the cabinet. Finger bowls must be sanitized before use of every client. The hand and foot spa machines must be flushed with a solution of about 5% bleach and circulate the liquid through the system for at least 10 minutes. Leave the solution in the hand and foot spa machines overnight or at least 5-10 to 10 hours before draining the machine so that they are thoroughly sanitized. Tabletop and door handles are wiped with disinfectant and the floor should be mopped with disinfectant as well. Metal tools and instruments must be sterilized following proper sterilization techniques. After the process, store in a dry cabinet until needed. Tools or implements which are made of porous materials such as nail files, buffers, nail brushes, and orange wood sticks can harbor bacteria easily. Since they are wood products which cannot be sterilized, these tools should not be reused. Waste materials should be disposed properly in an enclosed waste bin fitted with polythene bag. The bin should be sanitized with disinfectant regularly in a well-ventilated area. Remember to wear protective gloves while doing this. Contaminated waste should be disposed of as recommended by local authority and any tool or equipment in poor condition must be repaired immediately or disposed properly so as not to pose danger with the clients as well as the beautician. And we're done. A lot to take in. But lesson 2? <laughs> We've done that too. But did you ever learn something in this lesson? Because I know you've been waiting for this again. Well, maybe not happily, but in a way that, yeah, yeah, we know, we know, we got activities that is graded, so just give it to us. Well, fellas, there it is. And another one. And another one. Another one?
another one. And another one. And that's it. Total of 8 activities for this lesson including the ones from the start of the video. And that's a lot. Like, literally a lot of activities to do. Maybe short, but still a lot, you know. So while we're at here, let's just ask ourselves, are we still okay? I know it's just the start of the school year for you, but we sometimes need to ask ourselves if we are still okay. Education may be important, but so is your physical and mental health. What is education anyway if you can't even use it for? Just remember, do this at your own pace. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, and see you on the next video.